I'm going to run you through how a carb heat box works on a Cessna 172. All right, so this is what a Cessna 172 air box looks like. You can see it's got the air filter element in front, okay? And then behind that is the rest of your air box that we can see from the side here. This handle um, controls the carburetor heat, and then this scat tube that you can see right here comes up and it's collecting warm air off of the muffler. I have the front filter element that would normally hook on right here. I have that removed so we can look inside. So if you take a look inside, there's a flapper. It can be in two positions. The position it's in now allows filtered air to go in um, side and all the way up into your carburetor. So your carburetor is right up on top and it's filtered out making sure that, you know, dirt and particles are trapped. The other way that the heat box can be is with the flapper moved, which I'll do here quick. So I just went inside the airplane and I pulled the carb heat. You can see now that the flapper is moved up. The carb heat actuates this little arm right here, which moves your flapper inside the heat box. When the carb heat is applied, it blocks the filtered air from coming in and it allows unfiltered air to come in through this scat tubing. Now this scat tubing, you can see if we follow it up, it's around your muffler shroud so the air is heated and allows warm air, carb heat, to go inside and heat your carburetor. So that's gonna prevent any carb ice. Now the one thing to note though, is that air is unfiltered. Notice there is no filter here. There's a screen, so like big chunks of like a leaf or something won't go in, but it's not filtered like the air box is. 